Welcome back to Collectability. Do you like music and Patek Philippe? Then this quirky object is for you. This is one of the rarest Patek Philippe complications, and it does not tell the time. Instead, this complicated mechanism helps a musician play rhythms accurately by marking the beats per minute. You might be more familiar with a traditional metronome such as this. But you might have never seen a metronome that looks like this. So the metronome was traditionally invented in the early 19th century by a German named Johann Malzell, and he patented it as a tool for musicians. And uh, Patek Philippe took it to the next level in the late 19th century, but more on that shortly. So the name metronome comes from the Greek metron, which means to measure, and nomos, which means regulating. So why Patek Philippe decided to make around a dozen of these metronomes between 1880 and 1890, it's a complete mystery. We can assume that these metronomes were made as a, in the form of an open-faced pocket watch. They might have been used by uh, conductors. I can imagine a conductor in a symphony having it in front of his orchestra, and he would take it out and be able to, to time the music and keep on beat. But this could have also been made for uh, an important event to, to celebrate. Um, something that happened in the 1880s and 1890s. As with all Patek Philippe products, this would have been a very expensive item and limited to a very privileged few. And as we look more closely, we just see the signs of quality everywhere. This metronome is fitted with a duplex escapement and it's an 18 caliber that features a half second jump. And every time it goes around the dial, it takes only 10 seconds. And when the metronome is engaged, via this button right here, the hand ticks loudly and stops at each of the 20 second intervals as we're looking at presently. It's much like a dead seconds device every 10 seconds. It results in 120 beats per minute. The energy is stored by the mainspring and only released by engaging the, the, the button. And once it's slid back, the energy is stored until next time when you further engage the metronome. The case is made in silver in four parts, and it's 51 millimeters large. And I could imagine the maestro holding this massive pocket watch form metronome in his pocket and using it as needed when he's conducting the orchestra. It's 17 millimeters thick, and it's, uh, it's just this incredible bit of history. And now it's a bit of a mystery what's on the dial in terms of the music. Now, if you look closely, we could see the hand-painted notes which are just so beautifully done. And each of the known pieces have the same music. Now this music has been identified as the Marcia Royal or the Royal March, which was the national anthem of Italy from 1861 until the fall of the monarchy in 1946. It was written by composer Giuseppe Gabetti. The music is sometimes referred to as the Fanfare Royale or the Marcia Royale d'Ordinanza, forgive my Italian. It's the Royal March of the Ordinance, and it was originally composed in 1831 by Charles Albert of Sardinia for the House of Savoy. And now, for something exceptionally fun. Let's have a listen to this early 20th century record I found, which has the Royal March, so we could listen to the music that's actually on the metronome itself. And, and we also have a printed out version of the Royal March here that we could all follow along. So let's listen to this music now and see how it, this metronome comes to life. Simply incredible. And before hearing this record for the first time, I never heard this song before. However, it's, uh, it's eerily familiar. And uh, it would have been the national anthem that my grandfather would have heard as a teenager before he left Italy for the United States 
1918. So I wonder, did Patek Philippe sponsor a musical event in Italy? Or did they make these metronomes to commemorate a special performance uh, for Italy? We might never know, but we're constantly trying to find out an answer to these questions. But we do know that this type of metronome is so rare that an example was exhibited at the legendary watches from Patek Philippe's private watch exhibition in 1989, which showcased some of the most important pieces ever made by the brand. And this exhibition was held at the same time as the, the special Patek Philippe 150th anniversary sale that we all are so familiar with. Now, the fact that this metronome was on display during that exhibition says a lot about the importance of this piece to Patek Philippe. It means that this is one of the earliest vintage Patek Philippe's to be part of the Stern family's collection, which is now known as the Patek Philippe Museum. And you can still see one of these today in the museum in Geneva. To date, there are seven known Patek Philippe metronomes. The first number one is the one just mentioned at the museum. And there was another one that was previously owned by the Time Museum in Rockford, Illinois. So it was actually part of Seth Atwood's collection too. Now, although each of the known Patek Philippe metronomes displays the same piece of music, they're not exactly the same. And you could really study the differences between each of these metronomes by looking at the, the central hand of the metronome. Uh, they have different designs. Some have a, a Florida Lee, others have more of a trident or a, a leaf finish. And these um, blued steel hands are what really differentiate one from another. They are little works of art. They're functional objects. And uh, I really believe that whoever is fortunate enough to own this next is gonna be someone that's able to have something that is important enough to be in the Patek Philippe Museum and something that is truly a piece of history and a work of art that you can tell this story to others in the future and share how Patek Philippe did not just make watches, they also made some useful tools that could be used for others. So there you have it, together with the Patek Philippe ink and chronograph that we explored a few months ago, I find this Patek Philippe metronome to be one of the most whimsical and interesting historical curiosities from the world of Patek Philippe. It's something that should be seen, heard, and understood in order to appreciate its importance in Patek Philippe history. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Collectability on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Until next time, please enjoy the hunt.